Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we tested our authentication implementation using Postman. We tested out the user's sign up action and user sign in action and the user's sign out action. Okay, now we need to test one more thing in this lecture, and that is we will create a controller and there we will access the currently signed in user and will display the information of it. Okay, this is uh, not required but uh, just to test this after signing in you will be able to access that user anywhere in your application so just to verify that i am adding this controller okay so to add the controller first create a new file into the controllers and create a new controller and name this controller as let's say members controller members controller dot rb okay and let's implement this controller so class members and then application controller application controller and end this okay oh first make this controller name uh, correct so application controller and into this application controller we need to implement an action that is def index okay and here what we will return current user as the json object okay so render json and current user and then status okay and again i am repeating that i am adding this controller just to verify that we will be able to access our currently signed in user anywhere in the api app okay so we can do this like okay we can do like this render json current user status okay and now just make one more check here that is before action filter that is before action and then authenticate user okay and save this now we need to add route for this index section of the member controller okay so that we can make requests from the postman so open the routes.rb and in the routes.rb what you need to do uh, come after the device for users and you can add let's say get member detail and then members and then index save this and now what we need to do just access just try to access, access this request using postman so switch to the postman and open a new tab okay so in the last lecture you have seen that we just signed out a user okay so now we do not have any signed out user currently they signed in user currently so let's open the request and just add http localhost 3000 and remove this api v1 users path so just remove that and here what we can do what the let's check the route num that we provided that is member detail oh again make this typo clear that is m-e-m-b-e-r okay so just copy this member details and paste this into the url of the postman okay so here you can paste this okay and now when you paste this since we do not have any user signed in currently so what we need to see that you must be login before access this page or whatever the device warning message that is so when you click on this send you can see that you need to sign in or sign up before continuing okay that means i cannot access this members controllers index section unless a user is signed in or unless i am signed into the system okay so now let's uh, create a sign in request so come to the post request and here we will use this existing user that is signed in okay so just click on the send request okay and here you can see on the terminal that user has been signed in okay and before that you can see easily that member re details request has been unauthorized 401 status code and now after signing in the user if you access this uh, member details page again okay you will see the details of the currently signed in user and you can verify this on controller a terminal as well that request has been sent to the member detail section and processing by the member controllers index as json and completed 2000 okay okay and it is fetching the user from the database as the current user okay so now we verified that 
when we signed in a user from the API or in our API only application, then we can access this signed in user at anywhere into the app. Okay. And that was the purpose. Now, in the next lecture, we will set up a resource where we will perform CRUD. And then after that lecture, we will implement the can 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 jam into this API to authorize the resource as well. Okay. So we will add the roles to the users and then a specific role can perform some specific set of operation on a resource. Okay. But we will do that in coming lectures. Okay. So till then, just try this lecture at your end. And if you have any doubt, let me know through the comments. I will be happy to help you. So thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, Tata. Goodbye. Take care and stay safe.